Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and the Arena. My name's Lumen and right now we're at 5 and 1. Somehow we are at 5 and 1 with this Paladin deck. I just think that at this point the only thing that could explain it is luck. I have been getting extremely lucky and the opponents that I've been playing against have been getting extremely unlucky. But that's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me because We've got to five, we're gonna get those sweet, sweet rewards, and we might even get a little further. One or two more wins, sneak them in there quickly, before the inevitable losses. I'll take it. I will take it. God, man, just mages? Oh. I suppose I haven't played against that many. That was a bit of an overreaction, but still, mages. Ugh. Are they still like top tier in arena? Is that hello? is that still a thing? Don't hello me. Oh, it's not the person I played against in the previous game, at least. Ah, uh, hello, challenger. I don't know which to go for, to be perfectly honest. I needed to save that coin for the pyromancer. But I've messed this up already, so. This is the safer play, but this, well, this could be good. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do. Like, what can he, what can he punish me with, with this? Okay, any two, three, I'm playing this. Because if he plays a two drop that's two, three, then this just, this gets massacred. Because there's no way my knife will go where I want it to go. Okay. This is fine. This is okay. Oh no! I don't have enough mana. That would have been so good. Put this apple on your head. Okay, so I put that there now. And my reasoning behind this choice is that now I've got the horse rider to protect the juggler. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Oh! God. Okay. So that's that's not happening anymore. I don't even care. I don't even care. So wait, if you start with this in your hand, then it'll take how long before you can play it? Turn three or turn four? Is it three or four? I wonder. There's no really good play here. I don't know. I don't know if I like that because now he gets this on here, and then it's it's like awkward. Can I light your fire? Oh, now I can pink one off. Oh, and he goes face to freeze. Okay, so now I can actually kings, or I can put this there and hero ability. But uh, part of me, kings. Part of me thinks kings is better. It's just it puts it on five life. Then I trade it into there, then it puts it down on two life, then you can put this on here. Mm. So it's it's not a great spot to use kings. However, it's not a terrible spot for the horse rider. Not terrible. The loves the cavalry. Yeah. And I get to do that, so like we put that there. It guarantees that I can kill this either with the weapon in the next turn or with one of these two. Uh, if I Oh my god, he just goes face again. Wow, wow. This has not been working out the way I wanted it to work out. Still can't attack with my weapon. That water elemental is screwing me over so hard. At some point, he's going to have to stop going face. At some point. <laughs> it's not now. <laughs> uh, he's still gonna go face, but he's not gonna kill this. Okay, so if I draw into Consecrate now, or anything like that, it would be so sick. Two, four, seven. Wait. Them 
But maybe the Regent is better. Like, Regent and Hero Power gives me two 1-1s. One but four health is kind of awkward for him to deal with. He can't just go phase 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Unless that's a fireball. He's not just going to go face. But I still got to make a, a pretty tough choice here. Should I... Hmm. This is just more power on the board. If I... Well, let's just go with this. Let's just go with that. This is a high priority target. I think he might just want to kill it. This is more power on the board, but... Uh, the one ones are actually going to be useful. Especially with the Consecrate still in my deck. Especially with Blessing of Kings in hand. It just makes more sense. And, like I said, he's going to have to start trading. And even the, if he goes face again with this, I will kill it. If he leaves anything alive, I'll kill it. Knowledge is power, and I know a lot. I learn. God, does one Avenge in Wrath here? I like Avenge in Wrath here, but I think I need to attack with this first. So. But then again. More power on the board. This can go there, this can go there, then there's five left on the board. Or, Avenge and Wrath could... See, there's a bit much health. There's too much health for Avenge and Wrath. I think Avenge and Wrath is just a bad play. So, Kings... Survive now, right? I mean, he's got f f six, five, six on board. Chaos whoa. Well, <laughs> not whoa, because I suppose this is fine. It's just gonna kill everything, and then I can reload. Wait. Eight damage to all minions, so everything's gonna die. All I need to do is put that there, then everything will die. So, I. I go face. The battle. Fools. Damn, that's cool. That is incredibly cool. Reporting for duty. And I am so close to dead right now. He can ping me once for five turns, and he just wins. And he just wins, like I said. Ooh, he didn't ping. So if I had picked up like a... Yeah, I play this. Please, just kill that. Okay. I sort of got lucky there. Damn, the fact that I got stealth was actually incredibly fortunate in that position. And if he kills any of these, like if he pings that off now, then Avenge might save this War Golem. I don't have any heals in my deck. Oh, god, okay. Uh... Let's see. I've got lethal on board now. Burn. He picks up a burn spell or he loses. This was an amazing game, regardless of whether I win or lose. It's just a good game. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's not over yet, is it? Because if the Avenger goes there... Four, five, six, seven. Oh, and he pings there now. And then he can't ping my face. Ah, uh, okay. GG. 
Wow. It was bound to happen, seeing that I could also draw into... That is incredible. Consecrate or something like that. And I had another draw, regardless, with this thing. Okay. I got it. I got it. He had Anomalous! And Flame Lance. Oh. Such a nice card. Somehow I won. Somehow. Let's go again. Before this luck runs out. Gotta make the best of it. Gotta do it. Now I'm on like a little positivity high. Now they're gonna give me Uber Mage. To break my spirits. Leandrin My hammer burns with holy fire. Ooh. Holy fire is my middle name. Damn straight. True silver is too good. Not to keep. And part of me actually wants to keep the quartermaster, but I can't. I need, I need that early curve. Oh god, so they give me another weapon? Well, look. In some ways, this is great. If I could pick up a one drop now, I would be sitting so pretty. Ah, hello, challenger. That is incredible. Now I need to think. There's no way for me to get the buff on My here. Because if I play this, if I if I actually mm. coin it out, he just uses hero ability, then it loses the divine shield. So, like, I think I just save the coin. Yeah, this is fine. Reporting for duty. Uh. That kind of works out, because now I get that out on three. I kill this, get it out on three. It depends on what he plays, of course. Because... Don't mess with Tusk. Yeah, so he gets rid of the shield. I can take that out. Now I do play the Rallying Blade. No, wait. Maybe Rallying Blade's better next turn. Well met. Tell you why. So, in the next turn... I can coin Rallying Blade Hero Ability and get like some serious value out of that. Worst case for me, he has True Silver or he has Consecrate now. That's the worst case. Or any any weapon, actually. Any way of just killing this and then... No, 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 not any weapon. Oh yeah, any weapon, any weapon, sure. Okay. Anything with more than three attack. So any of these two would be fine. But he's obviously like brainstorming right now to see how I can kill this and if he doesn't kill it then I bust out this hero power hero power I get two one ones and options, then it's really like just options. giving me the value I want from it that's the plan good good I think he has a weapon so many viewers this is pretty good for me Hold on. Let's think. No, there's no thinking. Burn. This is the way. Be I like Crowd Favorite quite a lot. It's a really cool card, but it didn't serve him well there. Why did that not see play? I just, I think it's such a good card. Abusive sergeants, dark iron dwarves, anything, even that stupid little murloc that I have. Options, options. Battle cry is just one of the most popular or prevalent of the uh, code words, abilities, I guess you could call them. Then we have so many good turns coming up. I can even frost elemental if I want to. Okay, so he's getting rid of this and he's gonna hear ability. This is amazing for me. I just I have all the time in the world right now to do whatever I want. So as much as I think knife juggler, look, he didn't have consecrate. So maybe we go. No, I think we just put something big out, right? Should I 
like we've got two knives. We could potentially get two knives on this. And getting knife juggle out is probably a good thing. Okay, you know what? Let's go this. Coin this. Man, if that knife didn't hit, I would have been really unhappy using true silver on the 1-1. One, one. That was a good play. That's I think that was right. Seeing that I've got a 4-5 on the board now. And on 6 mana, like what's the worst he can do? Plus, considering I've got the weapon out, I can probably kill whatever he plays with Should like one I? juggle hmm. and the weapon attack. He has a lot of cards though. In almost every single game I've been playing thus far, I've always had less cards and somehow I'm just options, outvaluing options. them, I guess, with the cards that I've got. But this guy might just have a lot of late game stuff. You will pay for that, Kerr. Oh, he was actually AFK. Reporting wow. Uh wow. No, <laughs> no, I just gotta drop all the little ones, right? Please, 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 just get one more. God. This is so disappointing, but it has to happen. I suppose that kind of plays around Consecration, because if he Consecrates, I'm gonna have a 5 attack Amani Berserker. And the 4 attack Yeti up. It doesn't play around it per se, but it's good enough. I think it's good enough. It's like most of his mana gone. Hmm. It's like, what's the worst he can do? Consecrate hero power? Damn, stand against the darkness. Where is it? It's gone. Wish you could scroll here. Stand against the darkness. I wonder if people are enjoying that in wild. Hmm. No, why would they play it in wild? Maybe maybe there's going to be a standard deck at some point with that. And then the Darkshire... What is it called? The one that gives anything with one health. Divine Shield. This is like, once again, just so good for me. He has nothing. Ugh. Okay, wait. So we play this and that. That's seven. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! That's so bad! Because now, there's like, there's no good way of doing this. I have to actually put that there. I have to put some stuff on here too. Okay. Look, that plays straight into Consecrate. I don't think I should do it. I think I should use these two and keep this as a 2-3. But he hasn't used Consecrate yet. And that was the Consecrate turn. No, but he might top deck it. Seriously. I, I can't. I can't take that chance. Yeah, that's one risk that I'm not going to be taking. Although, it would have worked out so much better, of course. But, now at least if he consecrates, it sort of checkmates him. Ooh, that's rough. Well, now I get a big threat. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Damn, it's been downhill for this guy. I would be thoroughly impressed if he won it. I'd actually be quite happy for him if he won it. I just, I just don't see that happening, unfortunately. Because there's no amazing trade to be done here. I think we just do this. We do this. We hope the two daggers hit it. Here we are. 
We were very close to lethal, but not close enough, obviously. Is he now going to have Consecrate? You know, what could do me in is Equality Consecration. I could just straight up lose if he plays that now. I think that's actually the only thing. Or oh, Pyromancer Equality. The gates are open. Well met. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, oh. well then. Well then. Another win. I don't know how this is happening, but somehow it is, and we're up at seven. So that's kind of cool. It's this nice diamondy key. I'm happy. I'm happy. Happy that I'm getting as lucky as I am because, like, sure, I might have been making some decent plays, but I have, for the most part, been drawing into nice early game threats and pretty decent late game minions at the right times. That's the most important thing. It's always happening right on time. And I think weapons also make a big difference. Rallying Blade has been so good to me. And I haven't been using its battle cry. It's just been so good to me. Just remove the battle cry completely. It's still pretty okay. So, anyway. I'm done. Check back in with more. Give it a like, share it, and do all that good stuff. Tell me if your predictions are still holding up or if they've been smashed to bits and pieces. Because mine have. Mine have. And I'm happy about that because I'm going to be getting some decent rewards from this. Happy that. Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and the Arena. My name's Lumen and right now we're at 7 and 1. Somehow, using this Paladin deck, we have managed to cheat our way up to these 7 wins. And that one loss, as you may or may not know, was from a disconnect. Man, could have been 7 and 0. Is this the one? Are we going to take it all the way? Maybe. Probably not, but it's possible. I guess it's possible. I mean, given that we got seven wins with this, I suppose anything is possible. Ah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hit that wall that I usually hit. When I'm around seven, eight, nine wins, then there are these two opponents that I play against that just massacre me. It is like usually just... The most one-sided Hearthstone can ever be. Here we go, here we go. Uther, queen of the arena. My hammer burns with holy fire. Okay, this is absolutely amazing. He kept one. I... I kind of want to keep the kings. It's just, do I think I'll have something on the board? A one drop would be better. Okay, a one drop would definitely be better. That's pretty good as well. Now it means that I should actually coin. Oh my god, that's so bad for me. Oh! My god, that's kind of better for me? Now, I'm in a, an interesting position. I can get two draws if I put it on his zombie chow. He could just decide never to attack with it, then I'll get no draws. But... I guess at the same time I could get two draws if I put should it on I... my... Hmm. Zombie Chow. This is a tough choice. There are not that many ways for him to kill off his own zombie chow. He could buff my minion and then attack his into it or something like that. But you will pay for that, Kerr. I got lots of choices to make here, dude. I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it. The main reason I don't want to play it is because he might play something with two now, and then I can horse rider it. Oh. Did that pay off? Perhaps. Perhaps. Probably not, though. Ooh, this is tough. This is really tough. So... How do I go about doing this? I want to get the most out of the juggler, which means it would probably be best 
if I saved Juggler, Coin, Balfin for next turn. But I just think that Tidehunter really, really, really works in this specific situation. Because obviously these are slightly weaker. On the flip side, if I go with Horse Rider... Maybe I go with Horse Rider, it's just, it'll get killed by Consecration. Options. Let's go with this. Sort of a safe bet. And he gets a kill here, but I've still got this and that. For in case he plays something homes. big. Okay, you see there, that's like... It's exactly why this is important. I suppose it just has to die, right? Now, I can force an overreaction from him. Yeah, let's just do it. I like doing that because I just thought about it for a second. It's like he either consecrates, which would be great for me, or he goes for something like True Silver, attacks it, then I can in the next turn put the Annoyatron up, which is also great for me. It all just works out. See, this This is exactly what I thought would happen. And it ends up being amazing for me because I get to get this out and protect it. Now, I want to put this out instead of the knife juggle. Look, the knife juggles aren't that important. I want to get the damage in from this. But no, wait, hold on. Maybe the knife juggler was a better play. Part of me also just wants to go for the, the secret now. Hmm. Okay. I like this. This is initially what I thought would be best. And the reason I like this a lot is because... If he consecrates now, again, it's the consecration out of the way, then I get to refill with a juggler, a secret, homes. and reinforce. Why does he have so many of those? This is actually really uncool. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. That's such an amazing board that he just manufactured there. Thanks for coming right on time, mad scientist. Except not really. I need, I need a juggle there real bad. Oh my god, saved. Whew. Man. This is looking very grim, and I can see why this guy's been winning so much. Two stewards of Darkshire. That's not good for me. Now come the big threats, right? Into the Colosseum. Wow. Well... At least this is going to be a big man scientist that he has to attack into. No secrets to pull out. I don't know, man. That was a win for him. Such a cool animation, though, right? This document looks Reporting for uh, duty. I'm going to save this for when he plays Stand Against the Darkness. Or Muster for Battle, or whatever, because I know this guy has it. If he's up at seven wins, he must have ridiculously good cards. Light in the darkness. Man, I haven't even used that card myself yet. That's a good card. A minion plus it gets 1-1. One, one. Doesn't cost any less or whatever, but... Wow, the timing. Thank you. Look, I... The battle! I guess we just trade in. Not an amazing position because he's got four cards, I've got one. But it needs to be said that there are a lot of big minions, big threats left in my deck. That's rough. Oh well. <laughs> I guess this kind of works out. Oh, 
The battle! I think that's right. I think I did that right. It's just now he's not gonna be able to get a death rattle off. Unless he plays Tyrion Fordring or something like that. It's not gonna actually trigger for him. It's not gonna get him anywhere. Ah, I mean, look, he hides it now. He hides it. But I don't know if it's gonna matter. We'll see. We, we will see. Now, if I attack that in there, then this actually ends up working. But this is left on one life. It's not time yet. I do attack this in here. I do summon another one. I put the micro machine down. And I suppose that as well. And then I just wait. Don't have... Consecrate, please. Just don't have Consecrate. I want to see... Something like Stand Against the Darkness or Muster so I can use this. Oh, great. Well, now, leaving Rivendell up ends up being kind of bad. Reporting for duty. This is reasonably good. Like, if he doesn't have any amazing way of dealing with this, I can do this and I can play this in the next turn and deal with maybe whatever else Behold he plays out. Four, seven. He can kill this, but he'll lose both. I don't think he will, right? Is this a Consecrate turn, or is this a Corrupted Seer turn? I think it's both. I think I have to do both here. Both attack and Consecrate, I mean. Yeah. This is still sort of there waiting for me to use it. So it's top deck wars, which means I have a really good chance, considering there's another war golem, there's the ogre, there's just like a lot of stuff, you know? Reporting for duty. That's incredibly bad for me. Because now, if I attack him there, this dies. There's no other way of doing it. <laughs> we left on one life. <laughs> How did it come to this? How did I get down to seven so quickly? It's just... Wow. That's scary. Battle. I'm dead, right? Yeah. Well played. Damn. Wow. And that thing. Oh my god, it's massive. Let's let him just kill me. I'd like to see what he's got left in his hand. So, the stewards of Darkshire. Oh man. Uh, I don't want to say they actually killed me in this specific situation, but... He had big drops in his deck as well. So there we go. Seven and two. Let's see if it's going to be a quick uh, a quick death. It's possible, right? That we just lose another one straight in a row. But, ah. Uh, I've seen crazier things happen than me winning with just, like, one loss left. Leandrin, Golden Shaman. My hammer burns with hmm. holy fire. I'm not going to keep the prophet. I don't even think I'm going to keep this. Because I'm going first. I need the one and two drops. Again, consecration against shaman. I don't know, man. We open things up with the mad scientist. I think that's good. What's the point in? That's... Is that going to change things? I don't think so. I think it's still Mad Scientist because now if he puts that there, then it's left on one, then I can put the Noyotron down and it sort of... it works out, you know?
Part of me wanted to put this or that down so that he would attack in with this. Wow. That's... I, I don't know, is that an overreaction? No, I suppose not. I mean, the early game board presence is super important. In most situations, it's like, it's really important. So... Look. I kind of like this. this document looks because if he puts this on here, then it's super value for me. Please don't Earthshock. If he has Earthshock... Or any silence. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This is good for me, I think. So now... I have a couple of choices to make here. It's pretty interesting. I can leave the board... I can have the board just be... Each of us with a 5-5 five, five up. There's no other amazing way for me to deal with this, so I think that's probably just going to be it. Now, if I do get to the next turn and my 5-5 five five is still alive, I think it favors me greatly, but... I think it might still favor me. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, I think I might still be in an okay position now. I really need that knife to hit. I really need to hit here. Wow, okay. <laughs> Sometimes lucky. Now, Lightning Storm would be devastating, but like, what's the chance? That's one card. That's a needle in the haystack kind of thing. If he's putting that there, then he can't have it. Surely he knew it was Avenge. That's lucky. Wow. 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 <laughs> no ways! The amount of cards! Well, there it is. Watch if you taunt as well. Okay, it's not good. Good. This deals with that. This deals with that. It leaves me with 2 1. Please, please don't have more removal. I have probably already lost this just because of how things are going now. Okay, that's not how I thought it would happen. He actually played it better. Better than I would have, probably. What taunt? Oh my god! You're killing me! Is that really what just happened here? That has to go on there. Behold the might of oh. the storm wind. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Damn. Ogre. Uh. I gotta put that there. In before Hex, right? Because if he has no way of removing this right now, I've got a chance. A chance. I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna win or whatever, but I've got a, okay, I've got a chance. Now I've got a chance. If that's not taunt, I've got a chance. Wow. I, I actually can't believe how unlucky that's been for me. How unlucky everything has just been for me. I do two to everything here. It's not even gonna like save this. Okay. I have no choice. I had to just throw everything out there because I'm gonna die. Well played. Thanks, man. <laughs> I don't even know, like, what, seriously. That's how you get above something like seven wins. You roll taunt, taunt totems every time and you have a deck like this. It seemed much better than mine, but again, I should not be unhappy because this this deck 
was not meant to be at these ranks. That's for sure. So let's see what we got. Let's have a look. That's pretty average. <laughs> Man, come on, really? That? Okay, well, we get to open a pack. There is a legendary in here that'll make everything worth it. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. That was a good pack. Plus I got some gold. Plus I got one spare card. It's disenchanted. So there you are. Oh, wait. Okay, so I needed both the epics. Huh. These others are from a different pack? Oh, disenchant. There you go. Paladin in the arena. I don't think the run was meant to go on as long as it did there, but somehow I made it all the way up to seven wins and then two losses in a row. Standard stuff. Standard stuff. I'm going to try again at some point in the not too distant future. I hope I can do better. I hope I can get to like 9, 10, 11, 12 wins, whatever, somewhere up there, that would be great. But definitely not Paladin again, I don't know. Try something different. Mage, maybe. Or Shaman. Shaman seems like it's in a good spot. It really does. Anyway, check back as with more. Give it a like, share it, and do all the good stuff. Most supporting there. Happy Paladin in the Arena post Old Cards. Happy that. <laughs>